What's up, everybody? I'm Amiga Bill. Come with me today when we check out the brand new wireless Amiga Tank Mouse. But your meditation. Tank Mouse is a brand new computer mouse created by the awesome Amiga fan, Lucas Remus. It started out as a Kickstarter, but Tank Mouse will be available for purchase on its own dedicated website, tank-mouse.com. I met up with Lucas at Amiga 37 Germany, and he was kind enough to give me this beautiful black one, which matches my Amiga 1200 perfectly. Tank Mouse is inspired by the famous Commodore 1352 mouse, or as most people call it, the Tank Mouse. Now even though this looks like the classic Amiga Tank Mouse, it's actually a modern 2-button wireless 1600 DPI optical mouse with a touch panel between the two buttons for scrolling, which is super cool man, I love this feature. The scrolling even works on a classic Amiga running Workbench 3 or higher, more on this later. Tank Mouse comes in black or Amiga beige and can connect directly to a modern computer as well using Bluetooth or by using the supplied 2.4 GHz USB receiver. These two options make it possible to connect to almost any kind of device, including your original Commodore Amiga computer. Let's go check it out. Alright, so I'm not a big unboxing guy. I mean, if you want that guy, I'm not your guy. I mean, I'm not that guy. What can I say? But you know what? This box is definitely worth checking out. The front is super beautiful. It says, Return of an Icon, Tank Mouse. And the cool artwork is actually designed by Lucas himself. He's a really, really amazing artist. Look over on this side. We got... 10 meters of Bluetooth range. We got 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi with a plug and play receiver. Two AAA batteries that last up to six months and a touch surface for scrolling. Freaking love that. The other side of the box says uh, Tank Mouse is compatible with Amiga, Commodore, Atari, <laughs> Linux, Mac, and Windows. All right, well, you know, one out of six ain't bad. <laughs> Back of the box has got a little story and description about Tank Mouse and also got the specifications. Now it's actually a really nice box and definitely adds to the quality of the product. Tank Mouse looks and feels absolutely beautiful. When I hold it in my hand, I can really feel that this is a quality product. I love the texture of it. It's not like a hard, smooth, slippery plastic. It's got like a slightly rubbery feel and a matte finish. It feels really good and comfortable in my hands and doesn't slip around, which is awesome. Compared to the original Tank Mouse, it's really similar in shape and size. I mean, basically identical from, from what I can see. The only physical difference I noticed is that the, the buttons are slightly smaller, and this makes more space between them. And I'm guessing Lucas did that to fit the touchpad between the two buttons. Weight-wise, it's lighter than the original, and this is mostly due to the weight of the ball in the original Tank Mouse, as well as the cable. Having a 1600 DPI laser in the new Tank Mouse is really nice. Sometimes the ball on the original Tank Mouse slips, it's not quite as precise, and you have to clean it regularly. Over on the bottom of Tank Mouse, the 1600 DPI laser is right here in the middle. There's a three position power switch, uh, left is Bluetooth mode, center is off, and right will pair it to the 2.4 GHz USB receiver. The button on the left is to put the mouse into Bluetooth pairing mode. On the bottom is a trapdoor, and if you open it, you can see there's two AAA batteries inside, and Lucas said they last for about six months on their normal use. And there's also a spot to store the wireless USB receiver. For me, the most exciting part of Tank Mouse is connecting it to a real Amiga, but being able to use it with a modern computer is really cool too. Now I travel a lot, so I'll certainly be taking Tank Mouse with me on the road, and I'll use it with my laptop for regular computing, as well as I emulate the Amiga. Using Tank Mouse with Amiga emulators will give me like a bit more of an authentic Amiga experience because like, you got a Tank Mouse connected to it, that's, that's all freaking awesome. <laughs> as cool as using this mouse with a modern computer and Amiga emulator is, my favorite part is connecting this bad boy to a real Amiga. This can be done by using the supplied USB receiver with a USB to DB9 adapter. In my case, I'm using the Rish Mark II adapter. I've been using the Rish Mark II for years and it's been like absolutely fantastic. I love the thing. I mostly use it with a cheap wired Amazon Basics USB mouse and it works great. You can also use the Rish to connect a USB joystick to your Amiga, but I mostly use it for the mouse. 
Now there is one downside here. For some reason, when I attach tank mounts to the Rishmark 2, there is just a bit of lag. There's no noticeable lag when I use the wired mouse with the Rishmark 2, but for some reason, there's a little bit of lag with tank mounts. There are situations in which this would be like a little bit too much lag. For example, like when you're playing a game. However, Lucas has partnered with Lotharic the Legend to make a USB to DB9 adapter for Tank Mouse that will have much less lag. The Lotharic adapter is scheduled to go into production in mid-December 2022. A really cool thing about the Rishmark 2 is that it supports a scroll wheel and also works great with a touchpad on Tank Mouse. Anyone who's running Workbench 3 or higher can take advantage of the scroll wheel. Now, if you're on Workbench 3.2, you're all set, you're good to go, scroll wheel support is built in. But if you're running an older version like Workbench 3.1 or 3.14, you have to download and install a small utility called Freewheel from Aminet, and it's no big deal, man. It's easy to install and you'll be scrolling in no time. <laughs> I'll drop a link to Freewheel in the chat. It's really cool. Tank Mouse is absolutely awesome. It's a top quality product and I love it. The only negative part of my experience was that little bit of lag on my real Amiga, but that's not even going to be an issue for anyone that gets the Lothric adapter that's being developed specifically for it. Tank Mouse is scheduled to start shipping to Kickstarter backers towards the end of 2022 or top of 2023. You know how that goes these days, like the supply chain is difficult. <laughs> After the Kickstarter rewards are fulfilled, both Tank Mouse and the Lothric adapter will be available at tank-mouse.com. The estimated price for Tank Mouse is it's around 49 euro, which is an absolute steal for this thing. Huge shout out to Lucas for making such an awesome device and keeping our Amigas alive. You rock, Lucas. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Sorry for the lack of videos lately. Uh, I've been super, super busy, but the silver lining is that I've got like a huge backlog of material to share with you all, including show reports from Amiga 37 Germany, VCF East, and lots more exciting new Amiga products. So go ahead and smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next episode of the Guru Meditation. I'll take you on.